Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's alright this morning. It's Saturday, August 19th. Currently it's 63 degrees. High today is 80. We got a mow, so I'm glad it's not going to be any higher than that. And it'll still be warm enough with all the humidity. Uh, no chance of rain and winds at 4 mile per hour. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to mowing. Never do. But we're going to mow it. It was not going to be as tall as it was last time. We waited a little bit too long and we regretted it when it was time to mow. The only thing is I haven't got the bank mowed uh, like I, last time I did it the day before. I haven't had time today to do that. I've been uh, yesterday I well, I can't, I'd be doing it on the same day anyway, but I mean, I meant to do it yesterday is what I mean. Uh, and I would, got busy with some, these trees back here. They got sprouts, you know, other trees trying to grow baby trees. And uh, I haven't done anything to them in a long time, so I cut a bunch of it down. And also there was, there's, uh, vines growing up the tree you know from the trunk there growing all the way up the tree so I cut as many as I could find of them you know down at the roots and uh, I don't think I got all of them though but I'll be able to tell because the, the the leaves and the vines will turn brown when they die and the ones that are still green, I should be able to tell pretty much where that where they're at, and I can cut them. So, yeah, you can't let those vines take over your trees; they'll choke them out, and it's real bad for them. It'll kill them. So I did that yesterday, and then I didn't get the the bank mode. So I guess I'll have to do them both today. But it shouldn't be as bad as last time. It was just so tall, and it was still a little bit wet, and it was clogging the clogging my push mower up. I'm surprised it didn't clog up the riding mower, but it didn't. Uh, today, we'll be uh, doing Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. If he feels okay, he's uh, he's not up yet. And uh, if, if we don't do it today, there'll be a Kroger haul. We went uh, to Kroger and got some things, got some great deals. Um, I really have to investigate before we go or research what they've got to make sure that uh, you get the best deals and then you got to look. The best thing to do is look at your receipt when you get out in the car at least uh, because they they make mistakes and uh, they got so many different deals it's hard to make sure you did the right thing. Um, so check that out if, if we don't have Logan's. If we do have Logan's, then a Kroger haul will be the next day uh, on Sunday. Uh, what's for dinner? I don't know. We probably uh, we didn't set anything out. Um, and we had chicken wings, so we didn't really want chicken again. But we're probably going to get something out. I'm not for sure where. Because um, uh, if we mow... Or we're gonna mow. Uh, we're not gonna feel like cooking anything, that's for sure. Okay, had some uh, interesting tidbits today. I uh, actually had more than I needed, so I tried to pick the ones I thought y'all might be more interested in. Um, one day they'll have hardly any that I can use, and the next day they'll have more than enough. Uh, this one says uh, sinkhole surprise car plunges in New York lucky escape. Early Wednesday, a car with a driver and a passenger fell into a sinkhole that suddenly emerged in a residential area of, Ro of a Rochester suburb, New York. My allergies are bothering me. My sinuses are pretty messed up. Uh, the woman was rescued without harm while the man needed hospitalization. The sinkhole was triggered by heavy rain. The road in both areas is blocked and will remain closed for three days. It, 
you don't you can't really see how far you know it goes in that picture but sometimes it can be really really deep this says massive chunk of ice falls damages massachusetts roof that's a pretty big hole uh, a large chunk a large ice chunk fell from the sky and hit a house in massachusetts damaging the roof jeff jeff llg said he and his wife amelia rainville sus suspect the ice fell off an airplane traveling to boston logan international airport none were hurt when the ice chunk hit the roof on sunday night it was initially estimated to be 15 to 20 pounds and it probably uh you know it, it probably melted pretty fast so they didn't have very much evidence maybe they should have put it in a freezer or something for for evidence um four nations unite for spacex cruise sevens iss voyage you didn't see them very good there a multinational crew of astronauts is ready for their journey to space. Four astronauts from four countries will fly on SpaceX Dragon capsule to the ISS for a six-month mission. They will launch from NASA's Kennedy Space Center on SpaceX's Crew-7 flight no earlier than August 25. You can watch the whole thing live at space.com via NASA television. Well, that'd be neat to watch. And this one is funny about, like, talking about the ISS, you know, the Soyuz. The astronaut stuck in orbit rescue mission in place. Russian cosmonauts and American astronauts stranded due to spacecraft damage prepared to end year-long ISS stay. Soyuz MS-22 craft damage forced extended stay beyond planned return. They have been in orbit six months longer than planned. Wow. A rescue mission, Soyuz MS-23, scheduled for September 27 departure, aims to bring the astronauts home. Well, I hope so. Good grief, that's a long time. Okay, let's see. Sargento. I get these emails from Talenti Gelato. I don't know why I've never had bought this stuff before. Uh, it's funny. Um, Dollar Tree something about from them. Big lots. $10 off any $40 purchase online and in store. Okay. Here's a United Grocery Outlet. Weekend deals, some kind of hot dogs. I can't really tell which it says famous brand for a dollar. Here's that grilled chicken that we like so much. The Boston Market, three forty nine. It's got four pieces. That's great. And they got some kind of name brand multivitamin gummies, four ninety nine. That's cheap for gummies. And they've got this. Uh, Chocolate or vanilla lactose free ice cream, five for two dollars, and taco shells for a dollar. They look like they look like Taco Bell. I'm not for sure, but that kind of looks like Taco Bell. Let's see again. Another sign or whatever. So that's pretty good. Well, here it is. Finally. Nineteen sixties film shots of San Francisco lead photo collector to uncover a mystery. Photo collector David Gallagher has a particular interest in San Francisco history, so he was knocked out when one of his social media followers came to him with an abandoned cabinet full of nine twenty Kodachrome film slides that show the city in all its nineteen sixties glory. People bring me stuff and it's not always great, but these were pretty amazing, things I'd never seen before. He immediately got to work unraveling the mystery of who took them 
and looking for two matching cabinets that he knew were still out there. It was only after the Chronicle published, hold on. Sorry about that, she's gonna get some gas. We need gas to be able to mow. Um, okay, let's see, where was I? It was only after the Chronicle published the article last weekend though that new information surfaced. The slides belong to school teacher James Martin. His son Ted told the outlet and were unfortunately left on the street sometime after his death in 2019. He loved San Francisco. He lived here his entire life, all 90 years. He's searching for cabinets? What did I, I don't Reverend the Mr. Who took him looking for two matching cabinets he knew were still out there. So I don't really know what that means he's looking for. You wouldn't think cabinets like you know, you put stuff groceries in or something. So I don't know what they're talking about exactly. How about new DNA analysis of Stone Age mummy reveals what he may have looked like? Doesn't look like much that way. Um a reconstruction of Otzi the Iceman, a famed mummy recovered in the Alps in 1991, is displayed at the South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology in Bolognese, Italy. The same building where the actual mummy rests in a cold preservation room, it now or it shows the stone age human as pale with a long beard and long hair, but a fresh look at his DNA upends those previous assumptions. The new analysis made possible by advances in genome sequencing reveal that Otzi had dark skin and dark eyes as well as male pattern baldness. <laughs> Scientists also concluded that he likely descended from early Anatolian farmers who lived in the area we now call Turkey. The application of new methods makes Otzi a scientific gift gift that just keeps on giving. Lars Holer Pilo, who has previously studied the 5300 year old mummy, but was not involved in the current research, told CNN. The advancement in sequencing technologies allowed us to generate a high coverage genome of the Iceman. This allowed us to obtain more accurate results. Hmm. Maybe I'll show a picture of him. on okay this is supposed to be him I okay uh, it is was previously believed that his skin had has darkened during the mummification process said Albert Zink head of the Institute for mummy studies mm-hmm so, really not much more on that. Oh, come on, cooperate. How about 14 states implemented sales tax holidays sales tax holidays for the back to school season this year to help out parents and teachers shopping for supplies. They got that here too. Uh, with a boost in exports and tourism, Japan's economy grew faster than expected in the second quarter. An uh, electric robot dubbed Bebot sifts through sand to detect small bits of beach litter like wrappers and bottle caps. Go inside New York City's new romance-only bookstore, a haven for those looking to get lost in a love-filled novel. While strolling along the cliffs of Devon, UK, a man, Chris Oxlade Arnott, spotted a sheep stranded by the high tide and then carried the animal on his back to bring it to dry land. Well, that was nice. Elizabeth Francis, the second oldest person living in the U.S., recently turned 114, and she has some tips for enjoying a long and happy life. Oh, look at these. These are 
two mountain lion kittens. Isn't that cute? Let's see if I can get a picture. It's cute. Uh, quote of the day is from Demi Lovato. The more confidence you have within yourself, the more you can bring out in others. That's a good one. Okay, everybody, that's going to be it today for morning coffee break. I sure hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great day, and we'll either have a Kroger haul or Logan's Awesome Snack Reviews. I just don't know yet. So, bye, everybody, and God bless.